Whoa. Oh, just some thunder. <gasps> I have to be dreaming. Wait, you understand me. Why are... how are... what? What was that? What am I saying? I'm talking to a horse skull. 911, what is the nature of your emergency? Can I get... Uh, animal control? Connecting? What are we dealing with here? Some deceased animal. It's all skin and bones. We're really just bones. And it's right here in my... <sighs> Sir, it is illegal to call 911 with no emer... Where'd you go? Huh? <sighs> I must have been dreaming or something. I've got to get some sleep. I'm starting to lose it. Dr. Buck, you are being reassigned immediately. We need you to head a task force. You will direct a strike team to thoroughly document an SCP's appearance and try to prevent an almost certain cataclysm. Sounds like a job for a containment specialist. Why me? Those are in short supply these days. If this op is a success, I can get you some needier assignments. What's the target? SCP-1156 is an equity skull attached to a seemingly endless neck that defies all manner of physics and logic. Reports of it throughout history have been sporadic, but almost all agree on its form. There have been no reports of what the neck is attached to. Researchers have assumed that no such body exists. Uh, that's not the 1156 that I know. I think you've got your digits mixed up. I can assure you that I am correct, Agent Carson. You sure? I remember it being a goofy horse. Cockney accent. Called himself Wellington the Wonder Horse. First of all, that sounds amazing. And second, no, that is not what a strike team of MTF agents is here to deal with. Dang, I guess it's just one of those dimensional differences. Different dimension? Moving on, this horse foretells of misfortune and death. Sightings of it precipitate major cataclysmic events. For instance, several workers of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant noted in their journals before the meltdown seeing a bizarre long-necked creature. This recent rash of sightings are centered around another nuclear power plant. The site director believes that a similar disaster might happen again soon. Um, aren't there a lot of safeguards these days? You want to take that risk? I thought not. Your team is to follow up on sightings. Already, three workers have reported a strange animal near their homes. You must find out what 1156 is trying to warn us about. What about containment? Should we try and capture this thing? As of right now, that is not a priority. We're not even sure if it can be contained. I will be accompanying you, Agent Carson. No more further questions. Time is of the essence. You can't be letting it slip that we're not from... here. I would be more worried about a radiation leak or something. Hello? You guys aren't from work, are you? I'm trying to sleep. Roger DeWitt, we're here from the Center for Disease Control. You reported a dangerous animal recently? Oh, right. Sorry about that. I think I was dreaming it. The creature you described has been sighted by others. I can assure you it was real. So what's being done about it? Uh, we're here, aren't we? Can you think of anything that might present a potential security risk to the power plant? I mean, it's just some horse head, right? I ain't worried. Are you sure? This poses a very serious threat. I just answered you. Why don't you calm down? I am calm. Now, would you get off of my property? I've got to work tonight. Have you ever considered that maybe you're not a people person? Shut it. Everyone is always bothering me. Why can't they just leave me alone? And you, you leave me alone too. Hmm, 
Looks like there's something in pump number two. Better get that cleared. Oh, sorry, didn't see... You? That's a core breach. It can't happen here, can it? No, get away, stop. What, how? This, this isn't real, it can't be real. Wake up, wake up. No, S stop, stop. God. Do you think the SCP did this? Hard to say. 1156 has never killed anyone before, but our records on it aren't complete. Maybe the poor guy had a heart attack. We'll have to wait for the coroner's report. I suspect you're right. That means the sightings are gaining frequency. Three of my men saw it last night. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen soon. Problem is, we're no closer to finding out what is supposed to happen. One of them says she saw a beam of light shooting into the sky. That could be anything. Did they mention anything else? Well, she said it had a long neck, so nothing helpful. I want your team to redouble their efforts. They need to be here at the plant inspecting anything they can. <sighs> I wish Roger was not nunch. He always has some joke to entertain me. How'd you get in here? Ah, you're trying to bring this whole place down? Get out! What the hell did you do? There was this horse thing. Wait, you've seen it too. That's not our problem right now. The water tank controls are smashed. Well, maybe you shouldn't have smashed them. Look. Looks like the temperature in reactor two is getting high. It needs water ASAP. What do we do? Stay here. I'll go down to the valve and turn it manually. You make sure not to smash anything while I'm gone, will ya? Just go! How's the temp now? It's still rising! Do something! Calm down. You're probably going to get fired even if this place doesn't explode. What?! Let me check the line readings. Huh, there's something blocking me. Wouldn't have caught this upstairs. What was this doing in there? Oh, thank God. Disaster averted. You again? Why are you here? Were you trying to warn me? Well, you did a bad job of it. Now what? Thanks. You saved my job. Do you think that could have caused a core breach? It's a possibility. Though there's fail-safes that should have clicked on by now. I'm not crazy, though. You saw that horse thing too, right? Yeah, craziest thing I ever saw. What was that all about? I don't know, 